Namaste. My name is Dr. Suhas Kshirsagar and I'm the director of Ayurvedic Healing and an advisor for Kerala Ayurveda Academy. And this health education series as for the Kerala Ayurveda Academy, I would like to bring in some more information in the light of newest, latest research which is published regarding two very interesting herbs which have been used in Ayurveda have been revered for millennia together and they are garlic and onions. The Sanskrit name for garlic is rasona. The word rasona simply means one less taste than all the six of them. So it simply means that it contains five different tastes. And as many as taste any herb contained, it, it becomes more medicinally effective. It becomes medicinally very powerful. So rason or garlic has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for, for thousands of years for his versatile medicinal properties. It contains five different tastes. It also has a heating potency. Its virya is a little bit more heating and also has a pungent vipaka or the post-metabolic effect is a little bit more heating. But because of its heating and vasodilating qualities and slightly blood thinning effect, it has numerous medicinal properties. And so does onion. The Sanskrit name for onion is Palandu. Palandu is the Sanskrit name for onion and it has also been used in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years for a variety of different conditions internally as well as externally. And so when we talk about onion, it does have a sweet and pungent taste. But the unique aspect about onion, it, it has a sweet post-metabolic effect. It is sweet post-metabolically and it does not have a tremendous heating impact but it has a cooling virya. So something which tastes pungent on your tongue has a cooling effect that explains why in many Medita Mediterranean countries, especially Mexico and Southeast Asia, people do consume good amount of onion and garlic. And uh, I would like to bring in this new research which got published actually this they, they did a multi-year study where they they looked at about 25,000 people from Switzerland and Italy where those people who ate garlic and onions as a part of regular diet were 88 percent less likely to develop various types of cancers. And this is a huge impact on preventing any types of cancers. And it says that it prevented the cancers like esophagus, mouth, throat, colon, breast, ovaries, and prostate. And those who never ate onion and garlic were having higher incidences and higher chances of having cancers of these areas. High onion intake was associated with about 56% of lower incidences of colon cancer and about 27% lower risk of stomach cancer itself. So this is, this is a very interesting property and why Ayurveda has talked about onions and garlic for such a long time because it's its ability to digest the ama and rekindle your agni. It is a unique property of burning your unwanted ama and the modern medicine actually proves exactly what we are talking for such a long time. Like many other vegetables, onion and garlic contain numerous antioxidant chemicals which block highly reactive free radical and they have a free radical scavenging effect which are very damaging to the DNA of anybody's cell and starting the onslaught of a variety of different cancers itself. So the compounds in onion and garlic can increase enzyme that deactivate the carcinogens in the body enhancing our body's ability to eliminate carcinogens before they can damage the mitochondria or the DNA of our cell. Allicin. Allicin is the main ingredient in garlic which if at all you powder it and you cut it and store it that way vanishes. It evaporates. So you, you learn how to use fresh garlic into your food. If you are using fresh onions and garlic in your diet, I think it's an excellent medicinal properties. In some of the yogic literature, 
onions and garlic have have considered to be a little bit more rajasic and tamasic in nature there's a mythological story which talks about how how during the churning of the ocean of milk how uh, the amrit manthana or this nectar was shared between uh, the gods and the demons and uh, some of the demonic blood fell down on the earth and from from which these herbs came into life and that is why they do have some properties which are more rajasic and more tamasic in nature so they are having a little bit of a more uh, stimulating effect sometimes they are having more potent aphrodisiac or sexual tendencies and that is why it is considered that those people who practice uh, a yogic lifestyle may minimize the intake of onion and garlic but from an ayurvedic point of view they have nectar like qualities uh, ayurveda has always believed the herbs and especially potent herbs are are angels walking on the earth and that is why we need to use these things to correct the imbalances and that is why it is an excellent food if used wisely in proper quantities and uh, the the newest research is definitely claiming that they are having tremendous anti cancer properties so i would definitely advise everyone to study learn a little bit more about onions and garlic and make it as a part of your day to day eating habit so i think these are couple of wonderful herbs and you can you can learn the medicinal properties of this you can create variety of different dishes and foods out of it and all the family of onion and garlic you can talk about shallots you can talk talk about chives um you can also talk about leeks the green aspect of these they are very very good to mix it with your foods and salads and soups and they will have exactly the same sulfur containing chemicals which are actually very very nourishing for the system so i would i would uh, invite you to learn and understand more about onion and garlic and see if you can make it as a part of your day to day diet thank you namaste